but we were going as fast as we could, and every time we'd start in crow call, they'd be even with us. That's a good looking bird, dude. Oh my god. That is gosh. a beautiful bird. All right, guys. First morning in PA. Got cousin Garrett here. I was thinking about it. You were actually part of the very first episode I ever made. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. on the river. Yeah, catching them smallmouth. So I'm hoping that we'll continue our, our good luck streak and doing something successful together. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're at a, a secret parking lot on some public land up here, and uh, Garrett's gonna be my guide today to find out where the birds are. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. I guess I'll follow your lead. I don't know if we want to if we want to wait here and listen, or if we're gonna start hiking into the dark and yeah, see what we can just, find. Uh, might just walk up in here just a little bit. That way we're far enough off the road. If we do hear them gobble on this side, we can always get on them over here. So. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tyler and Uncle Dave uh, they went down the road a couple ways, so they'll probably be within earshot of the same birds. But hopefully that means that somebody will be able to get a jump on them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's well, go get them. we're gonna go dark. Let's go get them. It hit me too. I was hoping if I if I step off to go to the bathroom then the turkeys would start gobbling. Yeah, have you heard anything down there then? The last gobbles we heard, we were set up at the back corner over here yeah. in these fields. We started over there, well, yeah. and then we heard gobbles over here, over so we here. came over, and by the time we got here, I did my crow call, and they were... They were coming along the bottom of the field in the oh, woods, wow. in the woods okay. 75 yards. But we could barely go. We were trying to get ahead of them, and we were going as fast as we could, and every time we'd stop and crow call, they'd be even with us. <laughs> you know? They went the whole way along them fields at about... Five minutes. So we, we get all the way to the edge, we push in the woods, we come down, they're to the right of us, and they're coming like right at us. And he did a couple crow calls, I did my crow call, and he started like uh, putting and purring at them. And they wouldn't respond to him, they'd only respond to the crow call, and they're here. And we like five minutes, we just let it be quiet, and then he, we did it, or maybe 10 minutes, and then they were way over there. Yeah. yeah. Like, and they were like 120 yards away. Moving. And just never saw them. It's, just like, uh -huh. it's like they're riding a bicycle, <laughs> gobbling every five minutes. It's like, I'm pretty sure they're out of the country already. <laughs>
Well, uh, we just uh, got to the uh, parking lot, and it's raining, so we're going to sit here at the truck for 20 minutes. So, to be clear, no, we're not trying to not hunt in the rain. Uh, we are staying at a camp that doesn't have a washer or a dryer, and we have a limited amount of camouflage. Oh. We have a limited amount of camouflage, so we're not trying to go out and get our vests and our gear completely soaked, and then have soaking wet gear the rest of the time that we're down here. And also the camera equipment. Uh, some of the camera equipment can't get, uh, can't get wet, so we're not going to go out and shoot a bird without being able to film it. So we're going to give it uh, 15, 20 minutes. It's supposed to clear up, and we're going to make sure that uh, it's not going to be pouring rain, and then we're going to try to go out there. Well said. I'm tired. I couldn't think of all the proper words. Okay, so we uh, started on the edge of a field locating call, uh, using the locator to try to find birds. Uh, Dave uh, shot us a text and said he had like uh, four gobblers. Uh, he could hear four gobblers in between us that was over the crest of a hill. So we walked back out uh, to the road, uh, or close to the road. We walked up the, uh, next to the road and then back into the woods to avoid some private land and then pretty much pushed all the way back we're about 50 yards from where we started today. Um, we struck up a gobbler and uh, just couldn't get ahead of him. He just kept moving. Um, and now we're pretty much, like I said, pretty much where we started. So um, I think our plan now is we're gonna run up uh, to the wood line on the trees and uh, just try to find another bird because the one we were talking to stopped, uh, or the one that we had talking got quiet. I would say that our current yeah. situation is my fault because I went after the first bird we heard today and I wasn't aware that Tyler was hearing other birds closer to us and we were walking up the hill and I was like... No, I was walking. Train. I was walking. Yeah. Fisher was running up yeah. the hill. And he was like I pointing was like, in the general direction where we were and headed and I thought he was saying, I hear the birds over there, but he met, he hears birds right here. Yeah, but, so I, I, pro I heard uh, a gobbler probably 150 yards from us where we were starting and he wanted to go find that group. Uh, uh -oh.
No, that's definitely a hint. Okay, so we're gonna start talking quieter now. Get our masks and our gloves back on. We're gonna push up to this tree line and try to talk to this hen and see if she's got any gobblers with her. All right, so we made it back to the truck, about uh, 30 minutes of walking. Made it back to the truck, we're about to switch to a spot that I went to yesterday, uh, Fisher wasn't out there. Um, but it's a lot easier walking, uh, it's more like uh, fuller trails and stuff like that that you can walk down and just uh, kind of call a little bit, get people, uh, get some gobblers to, you know, alert up on us and all that stuff. So we're gonna go to this other spot and see if we can't locate some birds that are willing to talk. All the ones that we had over here were just, we heard one gobbler this morning and we got him to, well I, I heard three. Together we heard one and I followed that one gobbler for probably 600 yards before he stopped talking. So we're gonna try to go find some new birds, new land, uh, before it starts raining too hard because it's supposed to start raining pretty good here at uh, 10, 11 o'clock, so. So play with my super. Good thing I carried this around for the last two and a half hours. Forgot I have it. I just had the wait. We're leaving. Um, we didn't hear a single bird. Not a one. And we are gonna go back close-ish to the area we started at. We had a buddy that uh, said he heard like five or six gobblers. He had to leave early though. So he's uh, headed back home and tipped us off on where they were. So we have an hour and seven, six minutes until the day of hunting is over and it begins the day of trout fishing and napping and, and napping. snacking and napping and snacking we are going straight to town after we're done hunting today and we're gonna buy what do you think two hundred dollars for the snacks for for me or you for both of us oh uh, no that's uh, that's an individual yeah thing. i'm gonna spend two hundred dollars i'm so hungry uh, we had a huge dinner last night massive steaks that dave bought us and they're amazing um, we didn't have breakfast yesterday i think we we had late early lunch or something, late lunch, and then dinner. And then today, again, no breakfast. Um, so I'm starving, I'm getting cranky. Um, no. No, I, dude, I am. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm hungry and angry and out of energy, but we're gonna run back to a small spot and see if we can't locate a bird um, relatively easily. And if we don't, then it is what it is. We'll try again tomorrow. And the weather's supposed to be nicer today. It's been overcast all day and it's been on and off light drizzle. Um, we heard birds gobbling until I think eight o'clock was the last time I heard a bird gobble. But yeah, we're gonna try one more spot for today and then that'll be it. We're having fun. We're coming up to the, the last final minutes of day two. We got like 40 minutes left. happening in the woods of Pennsylvania today. Nothing. Except for deer. We've seen plenty of deer. Seen a lot of deer. But no turkey. Yeah. It's uh today's been rough. Yesterday was uh like a huge tease. Yeah. <laughs> with how many gobblers I heard. I probably heard thirty or forty gobbles yesterday, just couldn't get in front of them. 
And today, well, hopefully today was a bad day. And then tomorrow's a good day. Tomorrow will be more like the first day. Yeah, I don't know. My feet are wet. We're both starving. I think it's time to go to camp. Yeah, time to go to camp, get some food, clean, change our socks. Yeah. We can go to town and get every pack of Little Debbie that the Food Lion has to offer. If they had the cupcakes with the swirls on top, oh, I'm getting three I'm of eating them. all of them yeah. today. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, better luck tomorrow. spot today we're hunting some private land so I'm not gonna out the landowner but thank you very much for letting us hunt here you know who you are so hopefully we can repay them maybe with some turkey nuggets if they'll take it but I doubt it yep so we're gonna break out the decoys today uh, I'm not a huge fan of using them on public land but on private land I'm not opposed to it at all so, it's still pretty early it's pretty foggy we're gonna start creeping down uh, through this land. There's a good listening point that I've been to in the past. So uh, we're gonna try to get up there and wait for the sun to start breaking out and burning off this fog. Uh, if we don't get any action in the initial, we're gonna go set up in a, an open field that uh, they've been known to come to and strut at. So that'll be the plan of the day. And hopefully it'll be over quick. yet but I'm not too worried about it so we're probably gonna stay in here for like another 20 minutes and see if we do hear anything on the roost and then after that we're gonna we're gonna sneak down down a path that's on here and uh, we'll probably call a little bit going down and uh, we'll find a spot to set up and we'll ride it out and see what happens but I think we're gonna get some action today I, I think we will but it's a little foggy right now so the, uh, we've been here in gob first gobble around 5.35. Yeah. So we're a little bit past it, but it's, it was super foggy coming in, and it doesn't look like it here. But just down the ridge, it's super foggy, and just down that ridge, it's super foggy. So we're going to give it time to burn off uh, in case they're getting a late start and try to catch some birds gobbling. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for now. Thank you. It's like 8.15 right now, almost 8.20 or so. And uh, as you can probably tell, the fog is definitely starting to lift. So um, we're assuming that the birds have probably flown down by now. We haven't heard any gobbles yet. But uh, we're gonna work down this ridge in front of us and I'll yelp every now and then. And uh, we'll see if, if they're still up here or if maybe they've already uh, started to drop down into some openings in the small fields that are out here. But uh. I feel pretty good about how it's going to go. I think we're going to get into something pretty soon, hopefully.
<laughs> well, we just got set up in a food plot. Uh, it's a nice grassy field right now. And uh, the sun's gonna be hitting these. Actually starting right now, pretty much. And uh, we got a lot of thick brush to our back. So we're expecting them to come from either our left or our right. And uh, Tyler went out there and set out two decoys, a Jake and a, a feeding hen. And uh, we're gonna stay here for a while. We could only hunt till noon, but we'll be hunting till then, that's for sure. And uh, we're gonna double up today. I feel it. We'll see. We're gonna double up. We're gonna try. We're gonna double up. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna stay here. I already ate all my snacks, so I'm gonna watch Tyler eat snacks. Alright, so that deer just busted us, and you can probably still hear her blowing. She is making sure every animal in the woods knows that we're here. So, we got about 30 minutes till shooting hour's over. We're probably gonna just go back to the truck. Do you want to explain that uh, we weren't smoking, that you just have really bad allergies? Oh, your eyes are. Are they bad? Yeah, you would. Uh, so, I got bad allergies, and uh, we were sitting next to something that I'm allergic to. So, my. Uh, face is draining and my eyes are bloodshot. That's why. So, yeah. Just now that I think about it, you look like a pretty normal turkey hunter. I do. <laughs> Exhausted, beat the deer, down. The deer, it's been four minutes since that doe busted us and I can still hear, hear her blowing. <laughs> you hear? Yeah, she won't stop. <laughs> yeah. Danger, danger. Well, so that pretty much sealed the deal for our hunt. So, um, you probably won't even ever see this. <laughs> deer that's been so upset has been blowing since she's still blowing uh, like eight minutes ago we just got up to where she was and I'm not gonna touch this deer but her fawn is right here just laying flat trying to hide from us so we're just gonna keep walking and get out of here um, but that's wild wow. yeah I'm not even gonna I don't even want to get in here yeah. good luck baby see you in a couple years <laughs> Gotta get ready for the, the allergies. <laughs> wow. So we're pulling into our spot now. We'll be uh, parking in probably about a minute or so. And we're gonna be hunting out of a ground blind this morning. Uh, switching it up. It's supposed to be raining um, pretty early on in the day. So it's about what we have picked out. The birds usually, they'll either pop out, um, hopefully, in theory, they'll pop out either 20 yards from us or 150 yards from us. And hopefully work their way towards us it's like a relatively good open area that we uh, usually see birds in so we're gonna set up in a ground blind this morning uh, find ourselves a shooting stick on the way in we weren't really uh, prepared for hunting a ground blind um, so we're gonna try to find a shooting stick and if not we'll just shoot freehand it's not that big of a deal I forgot the go. 
GoPro so we're using Tyler's nice iPhone camera. Got the bird. We're gonna go ahead and tag this joker, but I'm, I'm taking him under this tree right here. It is drizzling rain. We'll get a better look at him. Alrighty. Man, what a bird. How's he look? That's a good looking bird, dude. Oh my that gosh. That is a beautiful bird. Beautiful fan. That bird came in quiet. We had no idea he was coming. As, uh, we were in that blind because of the rain and uh, we couldn't see completely behind us. We got set up nice and quick and we were able to be prepared for him. He stepped right out. Tyler was running the camera. He told me to take the shot. We made it happen. That 20 gauge did work to him. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get them all cleaned up. We're gonna have turkey nuggets for dinner. We'll see you Spurs. Oh yeah, I have I've killed some nice turkeys, but I ain't never killed one with hooks like that. Mm -hmm. That's what they call a, a limb hanger. We'll, have to, we'll measure them out. We'll put the measurements on the, the screen for you to show this bird's stats. But that is, uh, I'm super happy That's about that. It's a healthy, that. mature bird. I want to see his beard too. Oh yeah, yeah, the beard. We'll also measure that later too, but that's wow. the rope right there. Wow. That's a good rope. I'm, I'm going to guess 10. I'm yeah, guessing around it's 10. probably pretty close. That was a beautiful bird, buddy. Oh my gosh. I want to say a huge thank you to Tyler because we were hoping that we might be able to double up today, but he volunteered to take camera duty first. So Tyler, you're the man. No problem, you are buddy. Freaking awesome, dude, for blessing me with this bird. And a huge thank you to Uncle Dave for showing us exactly where we need to set up because yeah. he had it down to his science. But beautiful Pennsylvania longbeard. We'll get them all cleaned up and uh, just enjoy the evening. It's a rainy day, but we're still gonna enjoy it and 
sit around. We got to make a lot of phone calls to tell the story to some family members. Yeah, probably eat some fried turkey tonight. Oh yeah, for sure. Cool. All right, now the work begins. <laughs>